Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as we are returning to the high seas, I think, possibly, but it is season two, episode one of Black Sails and what a humdinger of a season one finale. <laughs> was it a comedy of errors? Was it? Was it bad luck? Poor planning? It, yes, all of the above. Sure. Vane has taken over Horny Horny Gold's seat on the island. Okay, fine. But as the Wallace and the Ranger were heading to the Urca, no one had a thought. Okay, again, not made clear why the schedule. Did the schedule have dates? That was never made clear if it had dates. I thought it was just locations. So is it just like a circle that it hits just to keep constantly moving and it hits the same ports every so often? Or was it an actual schedule as in it will be at this spot on this date and this spot in this date? Unclear, but they went out in search of it, thought they knew where it was. And again, unclear if John fed Flint the right location or a misleading location mm -mm. but they never thought that the storm they were caught in might also catch the urca when the ship wasn't where they thought it was first time out first time first time out it seemed they immediately go ah the captain's been lying to us the whole time um now you're gonna challenge him now you're gonna bring up all the stuff in the past and you thought he would take it? Now, we have not spent much time with Captain Flint, but even we viewers knew. And so Gates had to die? They get blown to bits, washed up on shore, and they found the Urca after all. So question, going forward, now what? Also, who's left from the Wallace and the Ranger? Wallace, Walrus and the Ranger? To do anything besides Dufresne, a couple other guys. I didn't see who else was there. I don't know what what could possibly happen next. <laughs> That's why we're gonna watch it, you and I. So thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. So if you have not already, hit subscribe because I would greatly appreciate it, and it does help out the channel. Also, you can remember full episode watch along is also available on Patreon. I have my water handy, and my citrus beverage for today is my sparkling strawberry lemonade because I'm getting kind of addicted to it. And why am I drinking a citrus? Because we're trying to prevent the scurvy. Right, right. Okay, <laughs> so if you're ready, I'm ready, and let's get to it. Night, dash by the storm. That's a lot of gold. Now what? Oh gosh, we got the whole theme song to go through. <laughs> I think. Unless we're not. <gasps> Are we not? Well, since they're all dressed the same, we know they're not pirates. However, Black Sam. You certain this is why, sir? These men profit nothing from blood. They profit from cargo. And they profit most when that cargo is least costly to win. Hmm. These are men, Mr. Falk, not monsters. Depends on the crew, right? If we behave rationally and civilly, so will they. So is this a new guy or an old guy? The ship is yours, sir. Our manifest. Wow, he did give up pretty soon. Here is accounted for in its location in the hold. <gasps> They're putting them all down below. May I ask, are you one of the pirates that calls the port of Nassau? Huh? I'm a recent arrival to Nassau. Oh. I don't think this is a Nassau kind of guy. Ash. As in Lord Ash. Let's get on with it. I, I think the crew is all going to get just shot. Yeah, they're just all going to get shot. Oh. 
Those aren't necessarily death blows. Some of them are, but not all of them. But your ship is about to yield a prize of far, far greater value than our wildest expectation, for which I'd rather not leave witnesses to the taking. So he has enough crew to man two, two big ships? <gasps> They're gonna burn it. They're gonna burn the ship? Hell of a prize, Mr. Meeks. Hell of a prize. Why does the name Meeks sound familiar? Oh no. And she's just lying there incapacitated down below? Yes, I have questions. And what the hell does this have to do with the Urca de Lima? Here's the theme song. <laughs> Whenever I see historicals like this, sometimes it drifts into my head. I don't know what's going on outside that our ancestor survived this somehow in order for us to be here to watch this our ancestors had to, to survive th not this specifically but these times those times the ships and the pirates and the travel and the journeys and the ships and the ships and we survived <laughs> they survived nowhere here captain Don't call them that. Wait, did they recast Dufresne? The only reason the sentence hasn't been carried out is that I've been delaying the vote in hopes that you might help me find a way to get that gold or as much of it as possible off that beach. Because if you do, I'll personally guarantee your sentences are commuted. Did they recast Dufresne? The men feel they're entitled to leave this ordeal with something to show those men. <laughs> them for their short-sightedness. Them for their ingratitude. And fuck them for siding with a cowardly, sniveling shit of a mutineer. Mm. It's a matter of days. They locate our wreck and our camp. And they will kill every last member of your crew. And they'll deserve it. Flint's a little bitter. He's a little bitter. And why did they cast Dufresne as a guy who looks an awful lot like Thomas Harper? Tom, I'm going to call him Thomas. Tom Hopper as well, so they're really confusing me in my head. The Oak's gold is secure. Oh, quite a bit of him survived. And even if it weren't for the soldiers, even if it weren't for the guns... Fucking warship watching over every inch of the bay. Fucking warship that's already killed half your number. It's the same warship? There's simply no way of stealing that gold. But there might be something else you can steal. Would this be the ship? Fucking warship. So De Groot survived also. Hmm. That ship is your only means of escape. Mm-hmm. You need a mode of transportation. Enough of this. Once that ship is in your possession. None of you ever Once that ship is in your possession, you, possession, you will be invincible. I wouldn't go that far. But he's saving his ass. I get it. Now the risk falls almost entirely on the first two men out. I would volunteer in exchange for your pod. Hmm. It's going to take silver with him. <laughs> One volunteer. I'll do it. Either way, you're surrounded by enemies, so why not? All in favor. Because what else is your option? Wait, 1705. I don't know if that's before or after this. Hmm. I'll have to pay attention to context clues because I forgot what year it is that we have been watching the show. Are you the liaison sent by the Admiralty? Prior. Prior. As I'm sure you're aware, my father, the Earl, holds great sway amongst his peers in Whitehall. He has asked for the assistance of Her Majesty's Navy in pacifying the island to which he holds title. I have a thought. Let's see if I can remember it to the end of the show. So we are jumping back and forth in time. Oh, no. They look welcoming. <laughs> wow, they made themselves at home rather quickly 
This morning, somebody killed two watchmen and stole 500 pounds worth of cargo from the warehouse. Sorry to hear that. Don't be sorry. Do your fucking job. What job is that exactly? Oh, is he security? Morning, provided security for the consortium's operations. You'd like me to fill that role for you now. You stated yourself that's what you wanted. You were the one who decided you wanted to be part of this. To protect the bay. But to play the role of constable, you need stronger partners. I had stronger partners, you shit. Do you know what it is I want? I want to figure out a way of selling everyone's shit here for more tomorrow than I did yesterday. Me. You haven't asked me the question yet. You haven't asked me if I'm going to let him in. Am I going to permit him to enter the bay with his Spanish treasure? Assuming that is, he returns with it at all. Or are you going to take it from outside the bay? Be very careful, Charles. Because at a certain point, I will remove you from this place, no matter what the consequences. You do that. For him. Can she, though? Can she? Um... Let's say you and I split it. I kill Flint, give you half a fortune, and then no more Naft, no more Lawrence, no more compromises. But, but, but then you have no one running your, your, your stuff to sell, right? There would be nobody doing the trade if you kill everybody who's trading. I think there's more to this, this NASA than just sitting on a pile of money and just drinking rum all day, which sounds terrible, but I think that's true. Even in success. You will be expelled from the crew, cast out. We understood. I hear the magic words. For now. Yeah, what? Shit. <laughs> You're serious about taking the ship? What the fuck did you think? Uh, I thought this was how you intended to escape. Probably that too. Sure to be a few days of walking or so to St. Augustine, but at least we have a chance. I think they're on an island. How do you walk to St. Augustine from an island? If you want to understand why piracy flourishes in the West Indies, I'm about to show you. Who is it? Davy, someone or other. Being asked if he wants to confess. Beg forgiveness in the eyes of God and Queen Anne. I take that as a no. <laughs> him I wanted you to see. Then civilization needs its monsters. Mm -hmm. You're an educated man, my lord, but I think it worth reminding you that in most cases a man trying to change the world fails for one simple and unavoidable reason. Everyone else. Well, Captain, did that not come back and bite you in the ass on your own ship? Which is probably why he kept the plans to himself for as long as he could. <laughs> John's dog battling, but he made it there. Yeah, that is the one thing about season one is John was, I guess, the, the starting point spark. But we never did get a whole lot of... It's been mostly Flint. Like, John's been there, but it wasn't a John-centric story. Which... Dude. <laughs> Dude, they are siestain. That's a lot of men. That is a lot of men on that ship. Hurry up! A moment's peace, my friend. Surely you can empathize. There's a line. Jack Rackham, the crew killer. Oh, oh, where it is getting around. I, I can't remember why they killed the rest of the crew. Cause I know part of it was having to do with Max and protecting Max, but wasn't there something else? I don't remember. <clears throat> what happened? Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday. Tell me you did this. I'll kill them all. She'll kill them all. You can murder them all. Tell me, though, how many men do you think you can safely lure into the wrecks to their deaths? As I'm pariah to just about every able-bodied man on this island. You're bringing business down, sir. They pissed on me. Hopefully that's all they did. 
Besides beat the crap out of him, of course. I sent someone upstairs to tend to him. He's angry, but this will pass. Until tomorrow. That's a lot of men. I guess this is the scurrying past the crew portion of the plan. Down the center, eh? Along. Wonder if along. I can't see along the sides, but. Don't. John. John. What is that? Saddle whistle. Oh, jeez. That better be a whistle or some sort of key to start the ship. <laughs> it's a postman's whistle. Doesn't it make more sense for us to prompt the lookout to come down than for us to go up there after him? But won't the other men hear the whistle as well? Brace yourself. But I'm the only person within a hundred miles of here who doesn't want to see. Will I take his coat? Is he the same height as John? Oh no, he's super tall. He's super tall. <laughs> he... I'm sorry. He doesn't look anything like the guy they just offed. Then does he look like the boatswain? Just push him off. Oh, he just passed right by him as, nah, as, as no, no big deal. Oh, are you rethinking that? <laughs> Flint, I think he would have had better luck if he just pitched him into the ocean. You still got to pitch him into the ocean. Of course, that might bring sharks around, but... Can you stash him on the ship? I don't know. I can see both sides. Father. Jesus. Joseph. Mm. Criminy. Mm. <laughs> now what? Now what? What's going on here? These goods were presented for consignment, but your man here refuses to pay full freight for it owing to the condition of the barrel. Yeah, they are covered in blood. Once we were on board, the crew turned. Gave us no choice. Do you have any idea what happens when a marginally reputable cargo ship enters a civilized port and attempts to unload 50 barrels full of cargo covered in blood? Between you and I, which of us should bear the cost of that? Whatever happened on that ship, it was a costly fuck-up. But it wasn't my fuck-up, and I'm not about to pay for it. Going forward, we'll certainly keep this issue in mind. Mr. Meeks, who is the captain of the fancy? Ned Lowe. Please relay to Captain Lowe that it is his responsibility to manage the taking of prizes to avoid situations like this in the future. And I'm still not paying for it. If there are any savings in the repacking of these goods, I'll be sure to pass them on to you. Good uh, afternoon. You should speak with me. Sit. Oh, and Max called this meeting or what? Why? What? I give Hallandell a lead. Hallandell spends all his time in here. And somehow that lead ends up in the hands of a maniac. Plausible coincidence. I sold it to Captain Doe. He paid 90 pieces for it. Max. Valuable information walks in the door. I should let it walk out. Why? Because it bothers you. Consider this the only warning you're ever going to get. You fucking ingrate. Now, that's not helpful. We get you out and you pull this shit. Let me explain. Don't you, you fucking talk back to me. Either she's on her back or she's out on the streets. Oh. I'm gonna deal with it my way. Oh. Okay. Well. Ha 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 ha. Jesus. Oh God, John, how are you talking yourself out of this? My commander arrives to relieve the watch in less than an hour. So neither of you will be here when he arrives. One of you will tell me what I need to know. Receive this gold as reward. Be escorted to the beach for your escape. He My will not be Sander. ever, His ever, ever, Flint. ever, we ever escape. gold from the treasure galleon, but he was deposed of his captaincy by a man named Dufresne, who is now waiting with the rest of our crew in longboats. You'll likely find them behind the promontory to the south. 
I believe there are 32 of them. So, do you get rid of the rest of the crew? Wallace, whatever. John, you're not getting far. You're not getting far. But... So? You got one shot, there's two of them? Shoot this one. This one has more scars, more fights. You got a better chance against this one. So we actually have to fight him? But what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? Do it! Do it! And, and, and doesn't that get hurt up? Well, I... One shot, the guys upstairs would assume that they killed whoever was down below. But this is multiple shots and grunting and screaming and errrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
tried to raid the beach? Is that the plan? I remember what it was like the first time I met him. There's a feeling one gets when in the presence of the truly great men. It's something quite indescribable. I imagine you're having it as we speak. <laughs> okay. What's your name, Lieutenant? McGraw. James McGraw. James McGraw. Great men aren't made great by politics. They are, every last one of them, made great by one thing and one thing only. The relentless pursuit of a better world. The great men don't give up that pursuit. They don't know <laughs> that makes them invincible. So James McGraw, not invincible, but Captain Flint. Making a kingdom of Nassau. Invincible. 17 yay votes against 15 nays. Yay for what? The crew has commuted your sentences. Okay, thank you. You will both be transported back to Nassau, at which point you will be removed from this ship permanently and without severance. <laughs> there will be no further negotiation on the matter. For now. If your interests and mine were adverse to each other, there was a good chance I'd cross you to save myself. I don't believe our interests are adverse to each other. They both want gold for different reasons. I don't believe you did any of this for a pardon. I think you intend to take control of this ship. And then I think you intend to return to that beach armed to the teeth and seize every last ounce of gold off of it. And I think you're going to need my help to do it. He needs at least one ally. He might have 17 others who voted aye. You tell me I'm wrong. So, had a suspicion that Man of War was going to come into play as their only means of escape. Knew it was going to be tough, and it was. And that there's no way, there is no way Flint is leaving that gold on that beach. No way. Ned Lowe. <sighs> Ned Lowe gives me the creepy, mean just to be mean, chaos monster vibes I hate. Those kind of people and those kind of characters just make me, ugh, just gut him right there. Just gut him right there. <laughs> be done with it does it is it bloodthirsty maybe but this is a kill or be killed world just take out the threat immediately just take out the threat immediately it's gonna be nothing but trouble hmm vain uh-uh we're just gonna sit take in whatever money you can possibly get by possibly letting people in and out of the bay i don't uh, uh. Yeah. He, his character, I've always seen potential in it, but it just never kind of seems to come through in that season. Episode 9 was like, ooh, he's making a move. And he did, but not really. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what Max's game is either. So there's lots of questionable motives right now. The only one that is clear and has been clear, and I think based on this episode is going to stay clear, is Flint. We know what he wants, and he's going to do whatever he can, whatever he can to get it. And how long does John ride his coattails? I guess we shall see. <laughs> but there we go, the season two premiere of Black Sails. Thank you so much for being with me, and until next time, as always, please drink water. If you haven't already, this is your reminder to go eat something. It's still summertime, so wear your sunscreen. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.